All right. We'll give folks a few minutes to come on in. I see Liz here. Yes, hi. Excellent. I was having a mild panic trying to find a power adapter, but now I've uh, now I'm sorted. <laughs> Usually it's like, you know, something else goes wrong. Definitely could. Yeah, we'll give everyone a few minutes. A few more minutes. We've got a fairly light agenda today. So we might actually be early. Who knows? All right, slides and notes are up into the chat as requested. We'll give everyone a few more minutes to come on in. All right, what do you think? Should we get started? Yes, we have five of the uh, quorum-ish. So one more person needs to be a quorum, but there's no actual votes going on today. So I think we're good. Okay, great. Let me make sure that I've got screen share doing the proper thing here. There we go. There we go. Liz, go ahead. Rock and roll. All right. Welcome, everyone. Usual rules apply. I'm sure you've all seen these things and all the logistics. If you have any questions, please shout. Uh, you're all here already, so you found the meeting. Um, some of us are here, and I guess, uh, Amy, you'll be keeping track of who's here and who yep. isn't. We've got everyone. Right. We need to. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we've got a couple of votes to talk about. Quick review of the new Sandbox annual review process. TOC elections are about to happen. Who knows? You may find a completely different lineup next month. <laughs> and then hopefully Paris will be telling us some marvellous ideas she's had around SIG Contribex. Okay. So vote updates. We had two updates. One was on SIG Runtime. Hooray, SIG Runtime is a thing. Uh, do we have uh, any representatives of SIG Runtime here to receive rapturous applause and welcome? I'm not sure that we do. Sorry, but they let you know. <laughs> we're delayed to be able to have things come through. So um, we're good to go on that one. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and we've also approved the thing around increasing the number of TOC sponsors to three 
at the point where the TOC becomes 11 members rather than nine, which happens after the election cycle that we're about to talk about. Yes. So that should just be a minor change where it says two sandbox sponsors, it will say three sandbox sponsors. Okay. And uh, actually, uh, any, yeah, no, let's carry on. Yeah, okay, so sandbox annual review process, we wrote, actually, I don't know, Amy, if you're responsible for this summary, but I think it's very nice. Yes, this is like, a, I have pulled things together in a one slide thing, so, like the, so everybody knows there is just one thing to do for our sandbox annual reviews. Yeah, and we're basically asking the sandbox projects to complete a short uh, set of questions just to keep the TOC informed about what the state of the project is. Um, uh, that will be circulated publicly so anyone can comment on it, uh, raise any concerns. Um, the key thing for the TOC is for us to be saying, well, is this project actually at a point where we want to try and move it into incubation? Should it is, you know, maybe it's going to be time for it to be archived. Um, so it's really just trying to keep the momentum moving forward for sandbox projects. Has any uh, project got their notification yet, Amy, or is that still nope. to do? I was waiting for this meeting to be able to make sure that everybody had like, you know, any questions to be able to raise here, anything like that. Um, and I will work on being able to make sure that that uh, mm -hmm. spreadsheet is public so people can see like when they're up for annual reviews. Great. Any questions on that process? Checking chat, checking anything else. Everyone's okay here? Sounds like everyone is okay. Nothing coming in on chat. Also happy to be able to field questions from the mailing list if people have questions, so. Cool. I put a link directly over so that everyone knows, like, here is all of the questions that we are asking. So again, we don't have to be able to have, like, you know, uh, what are we asking for? We're asking for this. This is taken directly from uh, the GitHub page that Michelle put together. Cool. Okay. Anything else here, Liz? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. We'll just drop in towards our um, election update. And oh my gosh, this might be the fastest meeting we have ever done. <laughs> um, I yeah. Want to folks know about the qualification voting period going on now. And that's why this particular timeline is, is listed as such. Um, yeah, so this is for uh, elections by the governing board, by maintainers, and by brain freeze. What's the third group? There's a third group. End users. End users. Mm -hmm. How could I forget the end users? Not there okay. we go. Um, and I think because of this date coming up, we're not going to have any votes outstanding for the TOC, I guess, from now. We are close. Point. Yes. So nothing until the new TOC is reconstituted after February the 3rd. Mm -hmm. Great. Any questions? Okay, any questions? Oh, this is so straightforward. Hooray. Good. All right. Paris. You may wow. or may not be awake. I know, right? I was like, oh, oh. wow. I have until at least 8.30 a.m. Uh -uh. uh -uh. <laughs> 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 wow. Well, now, now I know how business is run around these parts. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Paris. I work at Google. I uh, spent the last two years as the chair of Kubernetes contributor experience. Uh, I did emeritus myself out Wednesday for uh, new new life into the SIG, if you will. Uh, so um, where I wanted, what I wanted to share with you all today is uh, back in KubeCon uh, in San Diego, I spoke to Liz and Michelle and a couple other people about this like wild idea that I had because uh, I was seeing tons of emails go uh, come across the TOC mailing list that had a lot of things to do with teaching maintainers how to uh, better run contributor experience programs and or share with each other uh, and or build community around each other. 
Uh, and that's kind of what we do in, in Kubernetes. I think it's sort of the secret sauce. It's kind of like the SIG humans, if you will. Human, the human part to it. However, I do know Git and Markdown. We can argue how technical I am later. Uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway, go ahead and flip that slide, Amy. Um, so like the first things first, most people that I've I've pitched this to are like, tell me not another meeting. Yes, it is another meeting. There is no current in uh, limited uh, intentional space for CNCF project maintainers. Yes, there's a mailing list. Uh, CNCF community groups, uh, you see that because uh, a lot of that conversation happens on the TOC list. Uh, curious about upstream end users. Uh, we either have those come to SIG meetings direct and folks, uh, you know, think that that's not necessarily the place for them or user groups just trying to figure out where end users fit into kind of the upstream process, if you will. And I know individual TOC folks and CNCF folks definitely help with that as well. But just kind of coming up with some intentional programs to help those folks out, um, I think would be super beneficial to this group. Um, we also, especially in contributor experience, have a lot of best practices to share, um, especially as it relates to governance operations, which I call sort of the transparency vehicles, things like Zoom and YouTube and how to automate those. And CNCF does a great job with getting the keys, getting us the keys to those cars. Uh, and now what? Uh, that's usually up to the communities. So this is where that, uh, that gap kind of comes in with contributor experience with, you know, figuring out some of that automation and how to make maintainers lives easier so they're not uploading SIG meetings every day and things along those lines. Um, the other thing, go ahead and Amy, uh, sw sw yeah, there you go. Um, the other thing is like, who is this going to benefit? We just talked about uh, the end user community, for instance, but this can also benefit CNCF projects. So for instance, we were just talking about the sandbox and certain criteria points to, uh, to graduate out of the sandbox. And I see a lot of confusion there around what it means to have company diversity. Uh, and there are things that we can set up uh, early on and help maintainers with, I think, uh, where they can understand that a little bit better and have some processes in place and things like that that would help them think about that uh, ahead of time. Uh, and then, of course, CNCF SIGs so at, at a sort of meta level, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sort of at a meta level. Uh, where we can help out with like organizational structures, uh, terminology, uh, like the definition of a contributor, for instance, uh, and things like that at a very high level. Uh, the one thing that I did want to call out, especially as out of scope, and the, the charter li is linked in, inside of the slide right here, um, is the actual day-to-day -day operations. Uh, that's what we, we do do the day-to-day -day operations in Kubernetes at, at that SIG level. Uh, but that's where the work is being done for that project. Um, so for this SIG in particular, this SIG would really work on things like researching um, best practices for, say, contributor guides, uh, best practices on running open meetings, uh, outreach strategies, contributor growth to bot or not to bot. As far as GitHub is concerned, we could probably even get like a GitHub collective of maintainers together, things like that. Does anybody have any questions on kind of where my ideas were flowing with this and mission and who the stakeholders are and things like that? All right, Amy, next slide. So this is just the beginning phases, obviously, this isn't you know, me asking for a vote or anything along those lines. This is, I would love to build up and down the charter. Um, the charter right now is extremely broad. I won't lie to you. It's broad because I just wanted to make sure that I'm hitting a lot of the use cases that we currently have at the CNCF ecosystem level. Um, however, I think it's extremely, extremely, extremely important that we pare the charter down. The one thing that I have learned in two and a half years with Kubernetes is focus is important because there's shiny objects everywhere. 
and this SIG would be SIG shiny objects. Um, as you can see in the charter, uh, and if you want, I can share my screen with the charter. We can go through some of those items. But um, as you can see with a charter, pretty much is everything that would cover a contributor for the most part. So the biggest first step, I think, you know, once a SIG is formed and approved and everybody is cool with it is the discovery pieces uh, so that we can pare down. So within the first three months, it was sort of the operation focus, operation discovery, uh, and then get some, some very clear end goals uh, and then have maybe even Boston, uh, Boston KubeCon as a good place to deliver on one of those goals. Um, so there is a doodle poll in the slides for your interest. Uh, again, I think what we work on in this SIG really has to do with two things that I'd like to, again, pare down. One of them being um, the focus and the priorities from discovery. But the second thing is who shows up to do the work. Um, that obviously an open source really determines your priorities. So uh, this is actually a great way to get a lot of your other folks involved in upstream too. So uh, my background is definitely untraditional. I know a lot of people in, in Kubernetes contributor experience <clears throat> also have some untraditional background. So if you have folks at your employers, um, you know, project managers, product, uh, product folks, uh, whoever, uh, and they currently deal with humans and like you know, working with human processes and, and automation. This is kind of a, a good SIG for them to get involved and help us out at an ecosystem level. Um, and yes, I'd love to pontificate over this name because CNCF SIG ContribX will absolutely get confused with contributor experience at the Kubernetes level. Um, there's some things that I was thinking about like SIG community strategy or something. Uh, I think conf name confusion is, is probably one of the things that lead us the most to things not getting adopted and growth and stuff just because of confusion. Um, yeah, no, I know. I, uh, I see Matt in chat that said SIG project contributors. Yeah, I, I, at one point last night, I was even like SIG contributors, SIG humans, like... <laughs> And I thought about SIG governance as well, but I know that there's another governance term in engineering and, uh, and technology, so I also didn't necessarily want to get that conflated as well, but governance would obviously be a, a piece here. And I know that CNCF also provides government, uh, governance council too. So figuring we could all work together on that too. But that's it for me, really. No, thank you, Paris. I know that one of the things that projects really struggle with, and I'm seeing it in chat as well, is being able to talk about, like, how do we get new contributors? And it feels like this particular group is really going to be, like, you know, a good focus for that. Um, can can you speak toward the scope of that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's if that's what we decide in discovery, that can be one of the major working groups, ideally, here. If you're, if anybody on the line is familiar with Kubernetes, in this thing, you have sub-projects which in my opinion equate to like your PMO office running programs and like the sub projects or your programs. In this case, these would be like high level working groups, discussion groups who would work on similar kind of chunked out work. So like one working group could be, um, you know, contributor guide and contributor documentation. Another one could be outreach strategies uh, and contributor recruitment. Uh, and things like that. So, um, I'm ha you know I'm definitely happy to form and put some organization around uh, anything that the group thinks is priority. Liz, anything from your side? Yeah, it sounds like I, there's plenty of people. Uh, interested there's people volunteering names i think you're going to have no problem uh recruiting some folks to uh to help you out with this paris and i'm super excited about it i think this is one of the really important things that we can help the projects with so yeah growth outreach contributors contributor experience yeah this. yeah we'll figure it out so uh take the doodle poll y'all uh i did put i think it was like a a week plus uh, so I think the meeting is the last week of January because I wanted to still make sure that we get the rounds of uh, get the rounds of the word out and stuff like that. 
just want to make sure everybody knows that wants to participate. Matt was just asking if the vote will require waiting for the new TOC. Yes, it will. Uh, but that won't take long. And, you know, you can have everything prepared and ready to go so that the vote goes really quickly. Yeah. Our previous things have been like a three week kind of vote open process. So um, I, I'm not worried. We'll be able to kick things off probably like uh, February 4th. Other questions? All right, so we could spend another 39 minutes, uh, as uh, somebody said, bike shedding, as Richard said, we could be bike shedding the name for another 39 minutes, but I suspect that's not what we want to do. <laughs> Have we got anything else on uh, on the slides, or is that? That there? is it. That is it. That is a incredibly fast, but hopefully valuable TSC meeting. Has anybody got anything else they wanted to raise today? Just a very quick question. I believe we were going to try and set up a meeting um, with some of the talk and some of the signatures around some of the processes yes. and things like that. And I, and I think there was a doodle poll that was circulated around. I was, I was just wondering whether we got anywhere with that. Yes, we have definitely gotten place with that. Um, I'm looking at being able to do a meeting uh, probably tomorrow or Thursday. Thank you for the reminder. Ah, cool. Okay. Yes. Well, well, uh, there's also, another... we're not going to give people a lot of time to prepare, but okay. That's okay. This is not a conversation that needs like a whole bunch of like, you know, preparation. It's really just a gathering space. So um, I'm, I'm hoping we'll be okay with that. Okay. <laughs> other pieces that came up was um, the CNCF annual report will be published later today. That came from Chris. So watch for that. Great. And I think the transparency reports from KubeCon went out a week or two ago as well, didn't they? So yes. a lot of reading material from the CNCF. Cool. Any last takers or? Okay, wonderful. I think we are closed for today. Thank you very much, everyone. All right, good to see you all. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.